Turn your world around and then teach us Soup for the soul and it feeds us So light I can't do I'm feeling brand new Fully loaded with features A love that frees us Jesus She's just better What's up guys, and I'm checking out Automatic Man. This one is titled My Pearl, requested by Music Man or Streamlabs. Big shout out to you. Haven't heard this one before. <clears throat> I need a sip of water. But uh, yeah, since I haven't heard anything from this group before, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of research before I start. And uh, just see, you know, kind of what they're known for and the genres they're known for and that sort of stuff. So... Uh, real quick, before we hop into it, let's go ahead and check on the ever-so-reliable Wikipedia page and uh, see what we can find out. So yeah, Automatic Man was an American rock band from San Francisco. It consisted of well-respected musicians of diverse backgrounds within the rock, funk, and jazz communities. Wait, hold up. This could be nice. This could be really nice. Rock, funk, and jazz. Funk and jazz. That's already, you know, the uh, go combo right there. But, you know, a little bit of rock in there. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Uh, communities of the mid-70s played uh, progressive rock and space rock. Oh, okay, that's nice. That seems pretty nice. And, yeah, those are the only two genres that they have listed uh, for them. But how many albums? Let's see. Discography. Here we go. Uh, oh, only two albums, though. I mean, that's not bad. You know, uh, if anything, it's just, I guess, you know, the group itself didn't work out, or I don't know, but it's not anything that, you know, uh, negatively affects the group, per se. It's just, I'm always curious as to how many albums, like, a group put out just to see, you know what I mean? It's nothing to do with, like, how good or Anything they are, or anything like that. Um, hmm. Interesting. But uh, yeah, I think that being said, we just go ahead and hop right into this one. This sounds like it's going to be, you know, uh, based on the genres and everything I read, this sounds like it'll be a really good song. So yeah, My Pearl, let's check it out. <laughs> so many layers to this song already man it's already sounding you know really nice It's like a Jimi Hendrix song.
Wow. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And I like that, you know, I mean, I saw it in the description when I read it under the genres, but uh, you can definitely hear like the funk and rock influence pretty heavily in this one. And I like that a lot. It, Like I said, during the reaction, I don't know if y'all heard me, but it almost like reminded me of like, uh, like Jimi Hendrix, you know, song, like his style of music to a degree. But um, yeah, that was a solid, uh, I keep saying solid, but I know people, whenever I, I say that, people think automatically it's a bad thing whenever I say solid. So I'm trying not to say that word anymore because people automatically, you know, associate it with something negative for whatever reason. But um, yeah, that was a really good track from uh, Automatic Man, My Pearl. It's really catchy too, especially, you know, I mean, obviously the chorus is designed to be you know, for the most part, pretty catchy in songs, but, uh, yeah, it was a really catchy track, to be honest, and, um, you know, pretty funky, and just really active, you know, and I like that, um, but yeah, really great, great song, jeez, I can't talk, really great song from Automatic Man, My Pearl, and, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, that being said, much love, stay safe, and peace out.